So what are we looking at right here? So this is the V table, basically the, the fuel map for the car. Um, this dictates how much fuel is injected in the, in the engine. And we have some, some new number displays here. This is the fuel pressure. This would be manifold pressure boost. When the engine is running, this is going to be moving around because this is oil pressure. Um, this would be the target air fuel ratio that we want to run the car at. And this one, white band 02, is, would be saying exactly what air fuel ratio we're at. This one over here actually shows you if the, the O2 control system, how much percent it's either adding or removing. This one is we have variable variable valve timing. This tells you how what the degree the cam is. And we have this one over here, which is a flex fuel. Flex fuel. It tells us how much percent of ethanol we have in the in the fuel. Currently, we're at 65% ethanol. Obviously, this is our battery voltage. This is our ignition angle. How much ignition timing we're running. This one over here will tell us uh, what um, duty cycle we're running our injectors at. You generally want to keep it at about 85%. This is our intake air temp, coolant temp, uh, TPS, throttle position, and RPM. And we have a bunch of different tables over here. So we also have compensation tables for if we're running ethanol. We also have coolant, coolant uh, temp correction, cranking. For cranking, we usually have two tabs, one for flex fuel. So when you're running flex fuel, you want to run a, a little bit, a little bit more um, crank, crank pulse width. Um, over here, we also have our ignition angle. This is the timing, how much timing we're running in the engine. Um, over here is the interesting tab, which is the boost control. Yeah, this is the fun tab. <laughs> so, as you can see uh, over here on this axis, I have. Um, flex fuel so based on based on the amount of uh, ethanol that's how much boost the car is going to target so anything on the 40 percent it's only going to target 10 psi as you go up in ethanol content you see once we once you pass uh 75 percent it's just the same across the board so that's how we control our boost everything is done through the computer and, um, we also have a over boost cut right now it's set it's set at 10 psi because we haven't tuned the car and, uh, let's see what else there's oh we have a cam control so because we have variable valve timing we can actually control how much cam advance we have we can advance the cam at low rpm and low load as you can see, as we get up in RPM, we take the advance out. Helps give you a lot of low end power, low end torque. So that's another interesting, interesting part. We have uh, where we can adjust our drive by wire close rate, how fast and slow the drive by wire throughout the body works. So it's just a quick overview of the the Haltech tuning software we also can do have the same coolant correction for ignition so when it's a little cold it adds a little more a little more timing we also have something called zero demand so when there is like there is no load on the engine basically this is the timing it's going to run on the car so it helps with idle so the car doesn't idle too high or anything like that so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good options on there. Yep. Yeah. It's one of the one of the most versatile ECUs out on the market right now. And oh we have one more tab that's very important. So this table actually dictates um, actually dictates what if you have reached the car runs. Right now I have it I have it um, so you see it in Lambda. I usually use Lambda because Lambda Instead of using the air fuel ratio, lambda actually doesn't change when you change fuel. 
So when you the, the F-fuel ratio, it basically changes when you change fuel because F-fuel ratio is a calculation. But lambda, if you're using methanol, ethanol, gasoline, um, the lambda values always stay the same. So it's just easier for me to use lambda, but I can always change it. Um, and I cannot choose right here, AFR gasoline. And then it looks like something people are used to seeing. 14.7, 11.5, yeah. that kind of thing. So, But for me, I prefer using Lambda just because the values doesn't change. So if I'm tuning a car with um, E85 or methanol, I don't really have to go back and change change anything. Yeah. The Lambda settings are always the same. It's a little overview. And I also have a correction for Lambda. So for cool attempt, I can actually run it a little richer over here. So I'm targeting a richer, a richer, a richer, a richer um, target ratio when we're colder. When the when the when the coolant temperature is cooler, I'm running a, a richer mixture mm. just to help the car yeah, warm up. idle and warm up. So. so. Wow. Well, there you guys have it. Deltac.